All right, this one's going to be on Cherry Music. It's a open source program that you can actually run your own uh, personal cloud music player. And if you ever use like Groove Shark or what was that the Google Music thing that they have? Uh, basically, it's the same thing. It's just that this one you run it yourself, and you know you're in control of it. Um, so I'll show you the interface here and how it works. Basically, you go to Browse Files here. You can browse your collection. And there's like two different views here. So you can have this uh, tile view, and this is kind of like the detail view or something. I don't know what you call it. Uh, but they have different views if you want to do that. And basically, you click on the albums that you want. So in here in this folder, uh, you have other albums under that. Then I'll separate by ABC order. So I click on D here, and these are all Ds. And if I click on Daft Punk, and all you do is click on the albums that you want. Right, and I'll cue it on the side here. So these are your cue over here on your right side, and you know you can change to a different one just double clicking on it. And the bottom here, this is your um, controls that you have. So it's playing right now. See six, seven. Uh, you know, play pause, mute, and unmute, and all that. And this one is a shuffle and repeat. That's all you got to do for that one. Uh, up top here. They have, what was that, the randomize? So you click on randomize, they'll actually give you 50 tracks uh, from your, you know, your collection, and I'll randomize it. And if you want to download, the download here is kind of weird. I thought it was, you download one uh, song at a time or whatever. The one that you highlight, let's say you highlight over this one and you hit download. Uh, it doesn't work that way on here. This one actually downloads everything on this list, this queue list here. So if you want to download just one song, you probably have to clear it right and let's say you click on this song and then you can hit on uh, download and I'll actually download just that one track to a zip file and here's your zip file here okay uh, and all you gotta do is extract it and you have your song um, but other than that that's all you gotta do now if you what is that let's say you get another uh, track here or whatever F what is it here so click on that that and let's say you browse somewhere else or whatever um, and if you want to see the parent folder, you click on this little arrow here, this down arrow, parent folder. And basically it will list out all the tracks, uh, you know, within that folder of that artist, whatever. And you can click on more if you want, and then you can add it over here on the side, right? So that's it for that. And if you want to add another tab here for your playlist, you can add another one and another one. And so on and so forth, and you can actually save these, uh, you know, playlists too. And you can use that later when you load the playlist here, up top here. You can load the playlist, um, but we're not going to do any of that right now. All right, close this off. Uh, anything else you can do in here? Oh yeah, if you want to just search for the song, you can actually have this search bar up top here. And let's say, for example, um, we search for what was the other one? some Naruto stuff and there you go these are the Naruto soundtracks that I have and as far as the album art um, it's not always accurate like this one right here it says uh, was it Star Wars here but the album art they actually pull it from the internet and sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad like this one but you can always click on this little wrench here and change it to something else and it'll you know, try to get the, the correct album art for you uh, that's it for that. But it doesn't it doesn't affect your existing album art. Uh, it will just actually save it to, to uh, a different folder. So it's not going to affect your existing album art if you're scared of that. Right? Uh, anything else in here? That's pretty much it really for the program. It's not that hard to use. right? Now as far as uh, some other options you can do for um, what was that, the options here. These ones are your high keys, so they have you know the next track you hit B, uh, stop is V, and then was oh, that the previous track is Y. So if you ever use um, what is that uh, CMUS, they pretty much have the same high keys. Not all of them, but pretty much the same. As far as down here, if you're um, streaming this over, if you're streaming this over your local area network, you don't need to be afraid of the bit rate, uh, unless you have like a shitty uh, hardware like your mobile phone or something like that then you might have to lower it or your Wi-Fi sucks or something like that um, but if you do this like like over the internet like you know to your school or 
you know your family's house or whatever you might want to lower it if your bandwidth sucks or the other bandwidth sucks um, and you can do that from here and set your own bit rate if you want and other things you can do is if you change your password you can change it here and you can actually add if you go to your admin like depending uh, on your user so I'm the admin right now I can do admin level stuff so in the admin you can actually add another user so I added like, another user here but let's say for example I add another one uh, what was that here we'll add like a YouTube how about that as the username and the password whatever it doesn't matter and you can actually give them admin rights and then they'll be able to change or add another users but we're not going to give them admin rights all right so we're just going to do submit and basically you'll add another user here right so we have three users this is the first one second one third one here now do you allow them to download your songs if you want to allow them you hit this checkbox here and now you allow them right and that's all you got to do so if you want to check this out just open a uh, incognito mode here and let's say we'll log into the same um, IP okay and in here let me full screen this one here all you got to do is uh, log in with your username which we call YouTube and let's log in with that password here and there you go that's your other users that you can log into here now as far as if you have different users um, both users are not going to listen to the same music at the same time you can listen to whatever music you have on that server and I'll stream it you know to them so you're not going to have to listen to the same tracks as the other person um, you can't do that on here anyways so that's it for the program in a nutshell now I'll show you how to set this up here because it's not in your repositories um, so you have to do this manually depending well they do have it in the Arch AUR and the Gen 2 one so if you're using those uh, you know distributions then you can just run some command and it'll do it for you but let's say you're doing this you're manually yourself uh, this is how you would do it here so first of all you know uh, go to their site here and you can actually download from here if you want if you just want the zip file so or I mean the, the tar file whatever and they do have some old versions too so depending on your distribution if they don't have the right Python version you might have to use an older one right um, but I'm gonna use uh, the github here this is their github page and let me make it smaller here there you go uh, you can actually download the zip file over here on the side if you want but we're gonna use um, get clone here right to to clone this here but if you're using the zip file all you do is download the zip and extract it okay but I'm gonna use the get clone here and all you gotta do is make sure you have git install it should be in your repositories you know do like a sudo app git uh, install git <laughs> if that makes any sense um, anyways right now we're in our home folder okay and all you gotta do is copy paste that sucker and it will to git clone Basically, what this is doing is just downloading every file on uh, uh, what is that up here? All these files here. It's just uh, copying it and so on and so forth to your local folder, right? All these files and folders uh, using that command here. So that's what it's doing is cloning it. And once it's done, they have these uh, what was that folder here? This Cherry Music folder, and we're gonna CD into it Cherry Music. Uh, and now these are the files. So these are the same files if you were to extract it yourself using the zip file or whatever. And now the next thing you need to do is actually run this uh, Python command here. And um, I'm not going to use that port. Okay, I like using port uh, 8442, right? And let's run this here. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, that one is because I don't have Python 3 on this one here. So instead of running that, we're going to run um, Python 2 because that's what I got here. 2.7 to be exact. Right. And this one will tell us to open your local host to this address here. So we'll copy that. Actually, copy up to here, not the period. And all you got to do is open a new tab here. And then you paste this thing here localhost 
colon 8442 up top. And here, this is your setup. Instead of using like a GUI uh, program, you're using a web UI here, right? And then here, you tell it where is your music located at. So usually, your lo your music will be located at your home, your username, whatever your username is. This is my username, and you know it should be in your music, whatever. And the port, like I said, I like using port uh, 8442. And I'll explain that in a minute why I do that one. And the security will allow, um, you know, remote admin login. And we also allowed, uh, automatically allowed login if you're on the local host, okay? So if I'm on this computer, it's automatically going to log in, you know. And here, uh, don't enable this because it will disable your remote connection. So you won't be able to access, um, you know, from your tablet or mobile devices or your other laptop or computer. So we don't don't want to enable that, and all these other ones. If you want to enable it, like uh, you know, album art and automatically transcode, you can do that. Other tools that you need to install is Image Magic, right? Um, Warvis tools. So the Image Magic is for covers, and this one's for OGs. This one's for MP3s, FLAX. All these programs should be in your repositories. Just search for them and install them, right? Uh, after that, you hit save here, save configurations. And after this, they'll tell you to create a uh, was an admin account, um, which they tell us to do right now. So this one is just your admin account. You can call it whatever you want. So for example, this one we'll call it. Uh, what do we want to call this here? We'll call it Kazikage and we'll log in or your password whatever it is all right and we'll say create uh admin user and there you go and now you're the admin and then you, you know browse your uh, your files like i showed you before and here this is your other options if you want to uh, log out uh, or add another user here if you want to add another user like i showed you before also anyways that is pretty much it how you would set it up and um, you know log in later on if you want and all you gotta do if you're on the other computer is uh, in your home network all you gotta do is figure out your IP so the IP is just type in IP dash I mean uh, space A and I'll tell you you know your IP address here so this one is the one you log in later on uh, from your other computer instead of typing localhost you type in um, you know that IP address and that uh, port. Now this port is using HTTP. If you want to use HTTPS, you have to uh, open their configuration files. And what is their configuration files here? So you open this. Um, what is that in your config folder? Your music, your Cherry music, your Cherry music config here. Uh, basically, in here, if you search for um, what was the other one? Let me search for HTTPS. There you go. So if you wanted to use uh, SSL, secure encryption, all that crap, you have to set this to true because right now it's false. So just change this to true right here, right? And whenever you log in now, it will use the HTTPS, and you have to use this port instead of the other port that we use. We use was uh, 8442. This one is 8443, okay? So that's why I like using 8442 because the next number is just the, uh, you know, HTTPS here. So that's how you change the configurations if you want to use SSL. Uh, otherwise, the normal one's fine for me. I don't really care. Um, so that's it for the configurations and how you set it up and everything. Not a big deal. And this is what I've been using for the last two or three days. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Anyways, if you want a web UI with your own personal cloud music, uh, Cherry Music is free and open source. It just needs a web browser that supports HTML5, and you need Python on your server. And there you go, you're done. All right, that's it for this one. Um, and this one, it's you know, it's cross-platform because it's Python, so you can use it Mac, Windows, Linux, BSDs, all that shit. All right, that's all.